What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the uh, Can-Am BRP kit on this X3. Again, welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Uh, and hopefully you guys will subscribe. We got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, we have five videos coming for the X3 parts. Um, so that'll be coming probably in the next few weeks. Probably rotate them, uh, you know, one here, one there, every other week, something like that. Um, so definitely subscribe and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy that stuff and some of the installs and uh, make your life a little easier if you are installing some of these parts on your machine. Um, this is the BRP kit. This is the 715-002973. Um, Fender Flare kit. So they do come with uh, this piece of paper which obviously is kind of useless other than telling you where to go online to get your instructions. So that is uh, instructions.brp.com. And about when you type that in, you will go ahead and get some instructions that are, you can see this, um, not very helpful. So um, basically just a bunch of pictures and highlighted parts, but these are extremely self-explanatory on how to install them. Um, they do have, on the front end here, they do have dimples already pre-marked on both sides, front and rear. So um, this should go pretty smooth. You have your front fender, again, all pre-marked. There is one screw that you will take out and put it back through the fender. Otherwise, everything else are these uh, flathead Allens, flathead Allens. So it comes with these. There are, there's nine per front fender. Then you go to your rear lower. Again, these are all marked out for you on the machine already from the factory. And on the rear one, you will have, let's see here, you'll have four per side. You'll have four per side on this, one, two, three, four. And then on your rear fender itself, you're going to have three, six, so you'll have eight of these. And then you will have three of these screws, or I'm sorry, these uh, bolts with a washer and a nut that are going to go on the back side. Everything is already pre-drilled from the factory, so these should go on pretty easily. Uh, I'll throw a picture up on the screen of what the dimples look like so you guys kind of know what to look for, but they're super easy. You can pick them out extremely easy. So um, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the machine, and we'll go ahead and start getting this thing done. Okay, so now we're back over at the machine, and uh, you'll have all your dimples here that are pre-marked. You do have to take out this one bolt. It is a T30, and you will be using a T30 for all the new hardware that came in the kit. So we'll go ahead and take this one out first. Now you're gonna go ahead and take your drill with a very small bit and just pre-drill all the existing dimples on the machine. can and makes it so nice and easy when having these all marked. Check. I'm getting to get to two on the inside here. And you can lay that back up there. Then just go ahead and loosely reinstall this T30. Uh, when you put this flare up here, you'll see that it kind of falls right into place. You'll, you'll feel that it's inside the curve. I mean, these things fit absolutely perfect. So um, just go ahead and tighten this down a tiny bit. And uh, just enough, you want to still be able to Rotate it, make sure you're lining everything up the right way, and then go ahead and put your, your screws in that came with the uh, kit. We'll just take a few here, make sure we're getting everything lined up.
just want to get him in there. Don't snug him up yet. We'll get the rest of our screws. And then just continue adding all of these to the flares. Now that you got a few of them in, these pretty much are just going to line right up with the holes. So I kind of want to leave everything loose, just so you can make sure you did get into your pre-drilled holes. Now you can go around, tighten these all up. Don't tighten them all the way down if you are using uh, a ratchet like that. Go back and do them by hand. Because it is plastic into plastic, you don't want to strip anything out. I'll go ahead and finish them off by hand. That's that. So this front one's all done. And now we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get over to the back of the machine, show you how to put the lower part on and the upper part and uh, where the bolts go on that one. Again, same process. We're just gonna drill all the dimples out and go from there, put these in, make sure you uh, get the bolts with the washers and the nut on the backside. We'll show you where all those are. Everything's pre-drilled or pre-marked for you. So super simple, but we'll hop to the back of the machine. We'll get that one done. Okay, so now we're over by the, uh, the back of the machine. This is gonna fit right in here like this. So what we'll do is um, this back part has five dimples. You do not wanna do this one. So you wanna do this one, this one right here. These are the four that you want. This one does not get used. So don't drill that one out. And uh, we'll go ahead and drill these and get this rear portion installed. Yeah, so you do want to, I forgot to mention, you have to do the lower first. The upper one slides in over this piece. So do your, your, do your bottom first. I'm gonna leave this not totally flush and totally tight. Um, I don't know if we have to go behind here 
lock the other piece in yet. So we'll just leave it like this and we'll snug it up later. But uh, we're gonna grab the rear fender now. We'll mark these out, drill them, and then uh, we'll show you where the bolts here go on the back. Okay, so now to do the upper piece, this locks in just like this. So you are gonna have your, your dimples again here. So we'll mark those. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those to drill out. Okay, so under here is the pre-drilled holes for the factory. Those are gonna be for your nuts and uh, bolts that are on the bottom here. So first we'll go ahead and get this slid into place. Yeah, so it doesn't look like this is gonna block anything uh, as far as the lower piece. So that was my only concern about tightening everything up first, but uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be an issue at all. Got one, one more, two more of these down here. Let's do this one first. And the last one right back here. Again, leave all these a little loose so we can get the uh, bolts and stuff all lined up and those will go into place nicely. Okay, so now what we have here is, again, T30s. They're gonna go through for the bottom, and then you're gonna use a washer and a nut on the top.
again, these are all pre-drilled from the factory, so you don't have to worry about any of these. And they, so far, everything on this install is lined up perfect, so shout out to K&M for that, because that's, a lot of times you get uh, OEM style accessories, and uh, they don't line up. So it's kind of nice that everything just falls into place so far on this kit. Okay, so those are all hand tightened. So what we'll do is uh, we'll grab a wrench, tighten these up first, and then we'll come back through, tighten all these, and then uh, that's it. You repeat for the other side and you're done. So for these, uh, these lower bolts here, it is a 10 millimeter. Okay, once those are tight, we'll just go back through and tighten everything down. Again, you're going into plastic, so you don't need to go crazy. Just tighten them up so you don't strip anything out. And that's why it's uh, always go good to go with a very small pilot hole uh, bit, obviously. Just get them in there, just enough to get that point of the screw in, and then uh, leave as much material behind that you can grab. That's it, so you got three underneath. Eight on the top part, four on the lower part, and uh, these are in, nice and sturdy. So uh, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead to the other side, wrap that up, and um, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for the uh, k and Fender Flare install. We're not gonna let you sit through the uh, other side. There's just no need, it's exactly the same procedure. Um, super easy, probably, I would say 25 minutes to get them all installed, uh, doing it the right way. So um, again, use hand tools. You can run them in with uh, you know a wireless battery op ratchet if you want, but don't tighten them down. That's how you will strip the plastic out. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below. Uh, if you found this useful, go ahead and like the video. And as always, if you can, subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And um, thanks again for visiting us here at Team FAS Motorsports. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Like I said, we have uh, another four or five videos coming up for uh, the Can-Am X3. So um, that'll all be a build on this machine that we're doing for a customer. So again, thank you very much for all the support. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.